my friends and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. In our last video, we spent the day in Chinatown looking for Barabbas, not Barnabas, because apparently I keep calling him that. So yeah, I'm, I'm aware. <laughs> I'm aware now anyway. Also, before I forget, the quest with Kiki, the this, this snotty brat who I saved from the Tong, um, it's Kiki Naft, not kidnapped. So yeah, I'm, I'm aware now. Thank, thank you. Sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> I, I can read it good English. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so in our last video, we started exploring a li little bit more of Chinatown, taking a little bit of a breather from what I'm calling the main quest. So the last person we talked to was this lovely lady here who's very Kill Bill reminiscent. I'm not sure which came first, but uh, that's the vibe I'm getting. Uh, and her name is Yuki, and we have to go find a demon. Um and it's called Gone Fishing. And I know there's a fish market down here. So that's where I'm going to head to next. But before we do so, let's check in with Yuki one more time. Konbanwa, demon. She's so snarky. Had a few questions. Nani. Oh, I guess that's it still. But is there anything else? Okay, I don't want to. Are you, do you have something behind here? Like in, in there that I should know about? Like, are there animals or creatures or something that you're harboring? I want to... I, I want to... Steal things. <laughs> I know, that doesn't make me a very good person. But anyway, let's get out of here and go look for the fish market. I know there's other places here that I can explore, but let's, let's work on a quest first. I don't remember where the fish market is, so I need to find a map to find it. Wow, words are hard today already. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe it was back here I really like the music in Chinatown I don't know why I just do hey buddy go your own way you go your own way now that's the club so it's got to be there's the imports with the tongue so we don't need to go there Did I miss it? I must have just seen it on the map. Okay, let's try to find it properly now, now that I've wasted like three minutes. Let's see. Golden Ocean's Fish Market. So I am, oh, it's right behind me. Oh, every time, every time. <laughs> it's literally right behind me. You know, <laughs> it's been one of those days apparently already. <laughs> so let's lock pick. I can't get in? Really? Huh. Oh, uh, let's think. So I can't get into the fish market, even though I'm pretty sure that's where you go for fishy smelling things. Maybe if I talk to boss lady down here, she might have some info on it, perhaps. I can find my way back to Boss Lady's place, which seems to be an impossibility right now. Oh, we're just gonna take the scenic route, it looks like. <laughs> Sorry. I feel like I should apologize for my behavior. <laughs> All right, here's Boss Lady, uh, Ming Zhao. So let's go check in with her. See, maybe she has info on the guy in the TV. Maybe she has uh, info on this monster. I'm not really sure what else, but uh, maybe she has other things that she can tell us about. Hello, Ming. Welcome back, Kindred. Do you seek guidance? I do, actually. Do you know of a silver-haired man? Silver-haired man? I'm sorry, I do not know a silver-haired man. What can I help you with? Hmm. Do you know of a Hengayoki? Oh, no, it's Kai. Hengayokai in Chinatown. Ah, yes, the Hengayokai. Zigena, I believe his name was. Oh. I had nearly forgotten him. Then you know him. Sorry, take a drink of water every time. He announced his presence in our domain, and I granted him permission to operate. He does not act on my behalf, however, I can assure you. Hmm. Well, where can I find him? Fish market? I believe he said he operates an importing business and entertains clients at the Red Dragon. Oh. My, my bad. So, a few more what questions. What can I help you with? And... Uh, 
I think that's everything right now. So she doesn't know who the silver haired guy is. So the silver haired guy was the guy in the TV. Uh, what was his name? The Mandarin. I feel like that's from some comic book reference or something. But anyway, gone fishing. Ming Zhao has told you that the Hengayokai's name is Zigena and he entertains clients at the Red Dragon. Well, we've been there and the owner is kind of a friend of mine because I saved his cranky daughter. So we can go there perhaps and get more information. I love the moving sign. It's so cool. And the, like, the proximity to downtown, very cool. Are you the Hengayokai? Okay? I never tried to get back there. I can't get back there. Okay, so that's odd. Who are you? 500 up front, another 500 after the deal. No questions asked or I walk. Um, what are you talking about? My pardons, you looked like someone who might have some interest in my product. Actually, you'd be surprised at the variety of people who fit that profile. Um, do you ever do business with a guy called Sigeyena? Tell me all you know. Well, what do you sell? I want to ask all of these. Well, what are you selling? Let's just discuss your business, shall we? Okay, so I'll go with the original question I thought about. No. Anyone else? This would not be an issue. But him? No, I'm sorry. You're going to have to ask somebody else. Um... I, if, I wouldn't have asked if I pay you, what's it going to take? I wouldn't have asked if it wasn't important. you got to help me. Let's try that one. I understand, but you do not understand the consequences. Perhaps if I knew your reasons, I'd feel more at ease about divulging that information. Um, he's not long for this world. <laughs> Someone I know wants to meet him. Can you elaborate? She wants to chop him into bits. So yeah. <laughs> yes, that's what I wanted to hear. If that's your goal, I'd be willing to help arrange a meeting with him. Uh, okay, so you want him dead too? Look at that, look at that smirk. <laughs> Something like that. I was supposed to meet him at the fish market tonight. You go in my place, but if you do, I hope your intentions are serious. He is also a very serious man. Fish market tonight, got it. Not a word about this, understand? Bye. Set up a meeting with the Zig Zigiena. Okay. Anyone else here to talk to? How about this guy? Let me tell you something. You come closer so can hear. Let me tell you something. Kids. Kids don't know nothing. Uh, well, why would you say that? Because. Because you see them. Y you see them running in the street. They do climb, but not, not. Not crime, not organized. Just thugs. Just shoot, bang, and steal. It's just a mess. Not so organized. Hmm? Um, is there a point to this, you jinf soaked fossil? Ouch, that's pretty harsh. Um, but okay, sure, I can see your point. See where he's going with this. Yeah. See? You see? You? You see? I see. They climb, they not organized. Yeah. Messy. Uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no one can do it no more. Just shoot, bang, bang, whoever. Cop no good. All a mess. Not organized. Yeah. No more, so you know how it should be done. And do you have the answer? <laughs> what the hell are you trying to get at? I'm not sure he knows what he's trying to get at because he keeps repeating himself. Well, how about we try the first one? Pfft. Lu Fang, no. I Lu Fang. Lu Fang, he know. Okay, and so you prefer your crime organized then, huh? <laughs> Was, uh, wait, come closer. No say too loud. Was hitman. I kill, kill good. Lu Fang kill a lot of men. Congratulations. I, I mean, I'm not really one to judge because I'm a vampire and I just killed a whole bunch of Tong. So are you not a hitman anymore then? Retired. Happy retirement, Lu Fang. No more work. No more money. Uh. No tell bartender. 
what do you think they're going to do? Not serve you? They might be more scared of you. So what do you do for money now? I mean, he was a hitman. He should have, well, I don't know. He, I don't know. Do hitmen save their pennies? Do they have a pension fund they put into? I don't, I'm being exceptionally sarcastic, I'm aware. <laughs> Got some money, but need more. Got some hidden, cannot get. Hidden? What do you mean? Lock away. Need two key to get. Lu Fang only have one key. So where's the other key? Lu Fang used to have a partner. Not partner, friendly. Lu Fang have friend, Ji Wen Jia. Ji Wen Jia, Lu Fang friend. Both kill people for money, for people. For Tong, uh, good Tong then, not bad Tong. <laughs> You're going to have to de define the word good. <laughs> so what happened? One time. Man need killed. Man very hard to kill. Take both Lu Fang and Ji Wen Jia to kill man. Pay lot of money to kill man. Money go in safe. Lock with two key. One key Lu Fang. One key Ji Wen Jia. Yeah. So, yeah, what's the problem? How long ago was this? Probably a while ago. <laughs> oh, what happened then? Things get, uh, how you say, weird. Yeah. Lu Fang no think he trust Ji Wen Jia. Ji Wen Jia act funny, strange. Lu Fang think Ji Wen Jia want to kill him. Ji Wen Jia get shifty eye, you know? Lu Fang notice. Lu Fang read people very well. Okay. Ji Wen Jia, he up to no good. So you want Ji Wen Jia's key or you want to talk to him? Maybe they can work this out between them? It's a possibility, right? No, we grow apart after that. No more friends here. Just a hitman. Stay away from each other. No talk. Okay. So you want Ji Wen Jia's key, right? Nina Hai, of course, want key. <laughs> okay. Lu Fang want money. Well, where is he now? Ji Wen Jia make phony baloney fortune teller booth in marketplace. He no longer hitman. <laughs> Con man, more <laughs> like Ji Wen Jia. He keep key on him. Always on lookout for Lu Fang. <laughs> I've, I've been to that guy. We did that the last... No, no, it wasn't the last video. Two videos ago, I think. Anyway, uh, you got any plans to get the key from him? How are you going to get the money? That's that's too bad. I'm out of here. <laughs> no, you got any plans? This guy is great. I love it. <laughs> maybe, maybe you can get key from Ji Wen Jia. You kill people. Lu Fang, yeah. no. Lu Fang can read people very well. Let Lu Fang see you. Yeah, kill people. You kill Ji Wen Jia. No big deal, huh? Uh, well, what's in it for me, though? I give you money, huh? When Lu Fang get key, pay you 20% of hidden money. Lot of money, huh? Just kill Ji Wen Jia and get key. Okay. Sure. I need money. I need my free ammo. I mean, let's be honest. All right. Go to Ji Wen Jia in Marketplace. Get key with extreme prejudice. <laughs> I give you 20%, lah, and make this secret. Good hitmen never talk nothing. Kill him with extreme, not just prejudice, extreme prejudice. Okay, sure, I'll, I'll drain him dry, no problem. Okay, bye-bye. See you around, quiet lady. Mm-hmm, I've never heard of you. <laughs> Is this like an actual <laughs> quest? <laughs> so gone fishing, you have to set up the meeting with Z You have set up a meeting with Zigayena. I'm, I'm already forgetting how to see it. Say it. God, the Hengayoke at the fish market tonight. But first, you'll need to tell Yuki. Okay, we'll do that. But we're, we're going to do this other one first. The Hitman Impasse. Lu Fang wants you to kill his old partner, Ji Wen Jia. Do you all done? This place is great. <laughs> oh. So we got to go. Kill a, kill an old con man. You did take my five bucks, you know. So there's that. Well, then let's save and talk to him first. See if he has anything to say for himself. Oh, look who it is! A badass of Chinatown! You want Fortune Red Miss Superhero? Maybe you interested in making some cash? Mm, you G1J? You work for IRS? 
Oh, no, no English. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Lou said he'd give me a share of money for your key. You're a dead man. Lou sends his regards. Uh, let's say maybe he'll give me a better offer, right? Wait. You work for Lou? You want key, right? How much he pay you? 20%. What? Lou a liar. You bring him key. He goes see now. I'll say, what deal? I don't know deal. You not trust Lou. Chi and Ja, your friend. Really? Well, you already took uh, my five bucks and gave me a crappy fortune. So money speaks a whole lot louder than BS, my friend. Wait, wait, wait. I give you 30%. You take care of Lou. I give you more money. Guy, hate Lou. Figured. <laughs> Um, and for 30%, I hate Lou too. Goodbye. But I, I don't want to... So G1J wants you to kill his old partner, Lou Fang. But I kind of just want to kill this guy because it'll be easier. Won't it? All right, let's save. I get four. I love the, the bad graphics on these. Yeah, but I get the key. I'll just go dancing and I get humanity back, right? <laughs> oh, look, and I'm full blood again. I don't know which one I should do, but I don't believe the guy already conned me out of money. Although I have a feeling I'm going to get scammed out of money here, too. But either way, it's been a very funny quest. Hello, sir. Hello there again, lady. You find key I was looking for? Yeah, I just happened upon it. You make a light decision. For you, Lu Fang, all Chinatown. Kids can play in street again without fear. Ji Wen Jia's head tail come to fitting end. Now you get key? Yes, but I want my money first. Lu Fang, man of word. Hitman follow code of honor. No contract. No phony baloney lawyer and judge. Just word, huh? Lu Fang word. Lu Fang get money. Bring back here. You have Lu Fang word. Hmm. Okay. Hiya. Two keys together. Feel heavy. Heavy with weight of many dollar. Lu Fang gonna get new liver. <laughs> Bulletproof liver. I doubt that. With Lu Fang initial in gold. Meet Lu Fang back here tomorrow, huh? For your cut. All right, see you then. Yep, the jago go. Game Jiwen Jia's key to Lu Fang. La 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 la. Well, he's awful happy. So you gave Lu Fang Lu Fang Jiwen J's key. Come back later for your money. Can I just like leave and come back? Let's try that. That worked with Isaac. I left, then I went right back in. Twenty percent. I'm hoping it's a few hundred dollars at least. Right? He was a hitman. They were both hitmen. Yeah? Where is he? Dude. Stop peeing and give me my money. Yabza jago gu jazon yago lo la 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 Drunk clam with fistful of blood money, huh? <laughs> here, here, take money. Take money, Hilo. Lu Fang pleasure. <laughs> Thanks, Lu Fang. Take care. Was complete and? No more Yankee, my wanky. The Fanga need food. That's... To be honest, I was expecting a whole lot more from a couple of hitmen, but let's see what it says now. You got your money for solving the old hitman's problem. Great. <laughs> These quests are awesome. All right, let's go talk to Yuki about our meeting with her demon. I forget the name of it again, but I don't know if it matters all that much. She was in the ramen shop, right? When I was just there like 10 minutes ago, right? <laughs> I do really appreciate how even when things are on the opposite ends of the street, it doesn't take me 20 minutes to get there. So I I really do like that about this game so far. So anyway, hello, Yuki. Konbanwa. 
demon. You know, I am helping you, lady. So bet the henga yoke. Dogoreska. Where? I told him to meet me at the fish market. We can ambush him there. You want to kill Henge Yokai with me? Why? I don't trust him. My contacts seem too eager to sit up the meeting. He did, didn't he? I think it's working with the Kuei Jin, and I hate the Kuei Jin. Um, I don't know if I hate them yet. I've only met her twice. Although I did kill one of them, so maybe neutral. Anyway, why not just because? Well, let's go with the first one. Wakaremashita. Fish market de ikemasu. See you there, demon. I have a name. My name is Caroline. You're welcome. You are to meet with the with Zagayena, the Hengayoke demon, at the fish market. Yuki market. Yuki will meet you there. Oh, too many vowels going on. I'm. I don't speak English very well. <laughs> don't throw it in another language. It's going to get even worse. Okay, so fish market was back this way, right? Yeah. Luke. Get out of my way, man. No, you get out of my way, man. Okay. And I think I went the wrong way again. Um. Here we go. Imports here, fish market down here in the corner. Now I know where I am. Although, let's see. Um, weapons. Colt Anaconda. Let's get out the... Actually, let's see. Oh, again, wrong button. Inventory. Let's look at my weapons. So I have a katana now. Melee re combat requirement 8. So does that mean I'm going to suck at it when I use it? Because I only have a melee of like 5? Look at the damage. Damage potential 21. Base damage is three, or I could only do three damage. A light, slightly curved traditional Japanese sword designed for quick slashing attacks to kindred a competent swordsman is far more dangerous than a sharpshooter. Uh, I mean, maybe. Colt, let's, let's try it. Can't hurt, right? All right. I mean, look how cool I look with my sword. Whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> Let's save <laughs> before I embarrass myself any further. Hello, Yuki. Dozo. I'll go first. Should probably get my weapon out right away. I love my new outfit, by the way. It's so cool. <laughs> What's so funny, asshole? You're both here, my hunter and my target. This is very convenient. <laughs> hmm. Convenient isn't the word I'd use. <laughs> Surprise. Ogami Yuki e des. I return you to the Oh gosh. Okay, let's not sneak. Why am I not switching to my gun? Okay, sorry Yuki, hang on. I am not switching to my gun. There we go. Yokai is in hell. My revenge is complete. Domo arigato gozaimashita, demon. Hmm. Wow. Bet you're glad that thing didn't have tentacles, huh? A land shark man. Yeah, it was. It was like shark head going, right? <laughs> now I've seen him fight everything. Well, he's finished. <laughs> God, that's awful. Okay. What will you fight now? Let's try that one. 
Defy your nature, demon. Man can suffer without your help. Sayonara. Bye. Kill the Henga Yoge. Quest log updated. You've destroyed the Henga Yoge demon. I, I have, haven't I? But I want to look around here first. Is there anything worth stealing in the fish markets? Will the tap hotel tape be in here? Probably not. <laughs> Hope I can chuck those. Hmm. I won't lie. I'm. It's a little hard. Oh, sparklies. I was gonna say it's a little hard without sparklies. Two hundred bucks. That's not bad. Cause it's not like Yuki gave me anything. She just pieced out. Although I should talk to her again since she's hanging out. Um, it looks like it's about it. Yuki. See, I like the whole, like, arm protective thing she's got going on. Is it like to block with so she can slash with her right arm? Because I like it. It's kind of cool. Okay, let's save. So let's also head back to the main strip area. There were a few other shops to potentially go in. Maybe. Let's see. Red Dragon, the White Cloud. I haven't gone in there. Uh, ramen, <laughs> saying his herbal remedies. Best arms dealer to date, I think. Food Syndicate I need to go into for my main quest. And then Kamikaze Den is another quest. So really just, ugh, again, let's go to, was it White Cloud? So we go there, then we'll be about caught up on all the places I need to go to. I feel like I'm getting towards the end of the game a little bit, but I feel like that's a little soon. We'll see. Oh, no, no. Let's go back this way. I watch. Why, why are you guys so judgmental about my accessories? It looked like a dead body for a second. Anyway, oh, White Cloud. Restaurant? Perhaps? Maybe? Maybe? No, not a restaurant, a knickknack store. Stores that stress me out because it's just full of knickknacks. I can't do knickknacks, too much stuff. Hello, sir. There is something in this store for everybody. Okay. Yeah. Everyone guess what they deserve. Um. Keychain with the map of California or a cheap plastic Buddha. Well, it looks like they have some other stuff. There's tea. There's maybe some incense. That's not completely knickknacky. I I would use those things. But anyway, off topic. Uh, what's that supposed to mean, sir? <laughs> I'm reminded of a story. A thief named Lin was asked to steal an emerald for the head of his gang. The gem belonged to a man in a Hong Kong triad. Most would refuse this danger, but Lin was anxious to do it, and indeed he did. Okay. Uh-huh. When Lin returned, he did not want to part with the emerald he stole. He felt that the trouble he went through to take it made his ownership legitimate. The man who hired him did not feel the same way, nor did the man he stole it from. Do you know what happened to Lin? He sold the emerald, made a lot of money, and bought a network? <laughs> uh, ooh, are you Lin? No. Lin was caught. One man has his gem back, but Lin's employer has nothing. I'd heard this tale from him when he visited my store. Sadly, I had nothing to sell him. Okay. 
God damn, why the hell does everyone tell me all this useless shit? Because they want to share, Caroline. You have that, you have that look about you where people want to share their life stories with you. But, um, yeah, is there a point to this? Because I'm, I'm kind of lost, man. Lin's eyes wanted more than his hands could keep. Ambitious eyes are, sadly, not for sale here at the moment. Though I do have a buyer interested. Do you know when the next eye harvest is, by chance? I harvest? Lin's body is being kept in the freezer in the back of a local noodle shop, I hear. There are people there who want him, intact. But I think his eyes would fill my shelf nicely if they were to wander in. I gouge hell, a fitting punishment for Lin. What? Um... You want me to go to uh, the local noodle shop, which I'm guessing is the ramen shop, right? And find a guy in a freezer and take out his eyes. I mean, he's already dead, so it's not like he's going to... Sure. Eyes. I've never stolen eyes before. Always the first time. I'll do it. I knew you would. What other reason to waste words on the ill-fated... <laughs> this quest is so weird. First playthrough, gotta try every quest once at least, right? So what's your story, dude? How rude of me not to introduce myself. You may call me Mr. Ox. This is my shop. Do you find it interesting? There are no two like it on the road to hell. You are really creepy, dude. <laughs> Do you sell weapons? I sell things many would find cruel, but weapons, no. Okay. I'm looking for someone really ugly, snooping type. Seen anyone like that? Probably not. No. <laughs> no. Damn. All right. I'm out of here. I have a quest to go get a pair of eyes. <laughs> I gouge hell. Mr. Ox wants you to harvest Lynn's eyes for him. His body is being kept in a freezer in the back of a local noodle shop. I mean, the guy's already dead, so it's not like I have to kill him to do it, right? Employees only. Oh, I want to go back in there. Dude, you are... really not all there. I, I, I think you need to talk to someone. <laughs> He wants the eyes of a thief or a guy who I'm, I have to rewatch this for the story again. I sort of lost track. I think it was his talking was just a little bit too slow for me. Okay. So noodle shop. The only noodle shop I can think of is the ramen shop. Which, which I just, uh, have a criminal violation for. Oops. This always happens. Back door. Here we go. Should have just come back here, Jessica. I mean, if you probably read the quest text better. Oh. Hang on. There's people down here. Oh, oh. Your boss. Okay, here's Lynn. Lynn is a member of the Tongs. Eyeballs! Eyeballs! <laughs> um, <laughs> close the door. Let's see, anything else in here worth taking? I don't think so. <laughs> you harvested Lynn's eyes for Mr. Ox, now return them. Is like Mr. Ox the head of the tongue? Because, yeah, that would work. He's definitely up there in the creep factor. Is there anything that happens when I get too many criminal violations? Because I feel like I've gotten a bunch of them. Don't don't judge my experience points, okay? Don't judge me. I, I need to spend them. I'm aware. After after today, I probably will. Maybe after I turn in this quest, I will. <laughs> so many experience points. It's embarrassing. I'm aware. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> God, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh. 
Apparently I haven't stayed on the public eye long enough. Oh, they're hunting. Oh, good lord, that scared me. <laughs> Sorry about your ears, I apologize. All right, the police are finally given up, so we can leave. Today has been a really weird day in the world of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, just gotta say. Feel like nothing's quite, quite gone perfectly right, and yet I'm perfectly okay with that. <laughs> oh, I hope you guys are too. Anyway, let's talk to Mr. Ox. You are always welcome here. You're so weird, dude. So here are the eyes. Oh, I have questions. Yes. Okay, I guess that's it. Try you again. Are Here are your eyes. Mm. Yes. They stare ambitiously. Hello, Lynn. Do you like it there? These are an excellent addition to my shop. Here, please accept this as a fair trade. I have another task. If it piques your... Curiosity. Well, let's see what I got first. Quest complete. And, um, sure, I could use the money. As long as it doesn't involve eyes or other body parts I'm interested. Well, let's not limit ourselves, Caroline. Because maybe next time it'll be like $550. So let's hear it. I need you to be a bad luck farmer. Do you know what this is? No. Why don't you tell me? A poor translation. <laughs> oh my gosh. A customer has bought an unlucky talisman from me and wishes it delivered to an enemy of theirs. I need you to place this in the locker of a patron at the Lotus Blossom Massage Parlor. Oh. So that the bad luck can bloom. No problem. I know... Well, I've been to the Lotus Blossom, and I'm aware of the basement. I'm not sure how to get back there the easiest way, but I'll figure it out. So that's all. Okay, I'll do it. My customer has placed a black circle on his enemy's locker. Plant to talisman. Bad luck, farmer. <laughs> so I'm noticing one of his eyes is bloodshot and one isn't. I just... Okay, sure, whatever. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. He's, you're just not all there. It's fine, but I gouge hell is done. You have given Lynn's eyes to Mr. Ox, and now we have Bad Luck Farmer. You are to place a Bad Luck Talisman in a locker in the Lotus Blossom. The locker will have a black circle on it, okay? All right kind of odd but that's fine let's attempt to go find the basement again of the what was the name of the place i need to go to the white lotus the white lotus but let's look at this bad luck talisman no um that one bad luck talisman a talisman that mr ox asks you to put in a marked locker at the lotus blossom Okay, sure. Well, let's find the Lotus Blossom. It's over here. God, that cop scared the crap out of me. And we, the hot tub area, the, the lockers and stuff were in the basement. So let's try going in this way again. Can I? I can't. Okay, let's save. There's only one guy in here and I've already killed him. So in it should be dropping your locker, collect uh, loot, right? See? Lockers. Circle. Drop talisman. Give. Collect loot. Hey, what the hell you think you're doing? That's my locker, hooker. Obviously, there's been a misunderstanding, sir. Thought it was mine. Apologies. No misunderstanding. I saw you. What the hell did you put in my locker? You know who I am, huh? You want to die, hooker? Excuse you. Calm down. It's nothing. A simple mistake. I apologize, all right? Mm, 
No, you don't know who you're dealing with, asshole. Ooh, which one should I go with? Uh... Okay, don't you think you might be overreacting just a tad? Time to teach you a lesson about respecting people's property. Oh yeah, Hoka, you in for it now. Fine. If that's how you want to play this, bring it on. You have successfully placed a bad luck talisman. Now report back to Mr. Ox. So I don't gotta kill this guy, right? Well, that was... That was lucky. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that was lucky. I don't know how I managed that, but okay. Sure. Done. Let's go back to Mr. Ox. Wrap up these little side quests and then I go deal with the Foo something or other. What do I have to go to? The Foo Syndicate. Um, I, I feel like that's going to be a problem. This is why I'm hoarding all of my character points. Don't judge me. Please don't judge me. <laughs> I judge myself enough. <laughs> okay. Back to see Mr. Ox. 42 points. I didn't realize it was that bad though, my defense. Now it's gonna be like 50 or something. <laughs> you are always welcome here. Thank you so much. So about that talisman, dot, dot, dot. Did the seed take root? Mm-hmm. Totally. Hmm. I suppose this is what we agreed to. Perhaps bad luck will flower in time. Oh, did you want me to kill him? Because you should have been more specific. Take this payment. Anything else you need me? hundred bucks? That's it? Really? Although it was really easy, so... You are a motto employee. Perhaps you can work for me again someday. Until then, keep up the excellent job. And if you ever meet someone on the six paths with a soul to sell, please recommend my shop. Are you like a crossroads demon or something like that <laughs> so i think i'm gonna go this place is starting to make me uncomfortable but yeah but let's not piss off the creepy guy yeah i don't know what's going on with him you reported to mr ox that the talisman has been placed oh let dare dare we look at my character sheet 40 it's only 48 points it's not that bad now <laughs> okay well i have one more quest down here that i can do it is a tangled web. So this is the one where I have to activate the Chinatown hub for the Nosferatu network. You need to enter a company named Kam Kamikaze Zen, which is next door, I think. Mindic has left you the key in the mailbox, which I have, and activate the terminal, which is in the server room. And inside, Agent has put a virus named Hooligan on one of the office terminals. Find the file and execute it, okay? This will shut down the power, allowing you to get past the heavy security door. Somewhere behind the door is the server room. You better also steal something out of the electronic safe to throw investigators off the set. All right. I spent some character points. I, I put points in st stalking, <laughs> stealth, and firearms. I think perception too. Maybe not. I don't think I had enough for, for perception. I think I want to keep a few. I know I need, you guys keep recommending I get the fourth level of the Taumaturgy tree, and I want to, but I'm really nervous to spend like 20 points on anything. <laughs> so, anything new? Okay, so I need to go into. Kamikaze Zen. So, let's save after that point spending. I may not get through this quest today, but we'll try. No, I, I got the key. Oh gosh, did I not get the key? Did I not get the key? Oh, did I really? Oh my gosh, I really didn't get the key. I am such a ninny. All right, I have the key now. I feel like even when I read the email, I even said out loud, don't forget to get the key this time, Jessica, or something like that. And I forgot to get the key. Okay, now let's save again. And now we'll go in. But like I said, we'll see how much I get through. Maybe I'll get through it. Maybe it won't take as long. Never know. 
but let's see. I hear security guards. Same model. They couldn't upgrade for anywhere. <laughs> okay. Nothing in here. Oh, he's come back. He's come back. Will I have enough time to... No, I won't have enough time. Uh, trance, trance, trance. This was a bad idea, but I need to find a computer to to do the thing. Okay, here's a computer. Let's do the thing. Power. Hey, who's there? No one. I lost him. Apparently I'm meant to leave the room. <laughs> is he coming out? Which way is he going? Again. Maybe. Come on, computer desk. Okay, there we go. Power. Let's try this again. I forget what the password was supposed to be, but we got it anyway. Hooligan. Oh crap, I only have 10 minutes. Status. Sistat. Virus detective shutting down system. Okay, great. I have 10 minutes. Let's save. Theory, I shouldn't take 10 minutes to do this, but um, we'll, we'll see because I don't have 10 minutes to mess around. Let's close the door. Kamikaze Zen email. But I want to read the email game. Damn it. <laughs> Yo, I lost the damned access code to get back into the server room. Can you send it to me again? Oh, and I'm going to kill you tonight and slaughter grudge. That is so much bullshit. Like I ever camp the Uber cannon. Talk to your boy numbnuts about that after I res sticulate his ass. Scud Muffin. Okay, that didn't help. But it was funny. Right? Let's see. Oh, there's a vent we can go through. Hmm. Help and quit. Okay, that's locked. Probably should just head straight to the server room, but worst case scenario, I'll reload if these <laughs> if these computers are too funny. Fly? Damn it! <laughs> yeah, you stupid. How many times do I have to send it to you? The code is four, five, six, seven. Wow, that's a really difficult code. Add up numbers and get your and get you IQ. The only way you kill me is camp, you fucking uber cannon. Let's see, me and numbnuts going to gonna smoke you ass, take you resticulator, and shove it in place where no sunshine. You lick nummy nuts muffin, you got it. Okay. Seven and a half minutes left to go. Ooh. 
should I just head to the server room? Maybe, but it'll be fine, right? He's a following me. Ooh, another computer. Email. Someone there? Nope, nobody's here. Fuck Binster. Fuck Binster, you so ugly. Even fat secretary spit you on the head. Ha. And I kill you squishy and slaughter grudge tonight. You hear me? Fuck Binster. Okay. Give up the game, Buckety. Bucky bitch, your vocabulary ain't gonna help you with a war bringer lodge in your skull. Never fuck with Clan Drath Gurgle Bucky bitch. Okay. Personal. Let's see what this is all about. Elma? Manifesto one. <laughs> Oh, how I have suffered. The insensitivity and illiterate buffoons that have surrounded me are a constant reminder of the sad state of this country. I have solutions. As extreme as they may seem now, history will remember me as a visionary. Such is my fate. <laughs> okay, dude. Is intelligence such a scarce commodity? Today I spoke with Shinto and somehow he babbled for an entire minute without using one pronoun. Oh God, how I languish in his eyes. Oh God, how I languish. If his eyes weren't so close together, I might have plucked them out. Um, okay, manifesto three. How Larry came to be my supervisor is beyond a comprehension. His use of the language notwithstanding, which barely surpasses that of our dear friend Shinto. I can no longer abide his shoddy programming, nor his horrendous security protocols. He spells his last name backwards and uses it for the access code. What's his name? I don't know his last name. Um, to the bank vault. My kingdom for a baseball bat. I am spent. So I need to find... Larry's last name. Need to find that. Okay. All right. Well, um, I've got a timer going for five minutes left, but I think I'm going to probably have to reload because I've spent so much time uh, reading, <laughs> reading computer entries out loud has kind of burned it down. And plus I'm babbling right now to wrap up my video because this is where I'm going to end things for today. So on Saturday, we'll pick back at some form here inside Kamikaze Den and try to complete this quest and go from there. But as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourself safe and I will see you again on Saturday with another new Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines video.